right, we are skipping that little section there on quantified statements. Um, so go ahead and cross that out um, or just ignore it, whichever one you want. Um, we are gonna move down to negation, okay? So the negation of a statement is a corresponding or another statement, if you will, that has the opposite truth value, okay? It's a statement that has the opposite true value, uh, the opposite truth value. So it's really, really, really important, okay, to be sure that when you negate a statement, one of the statements is true and the other statement has to be false, okay? There cannot be a way where both statements could possibly be true or both statements could possibly be false at the same time, okay? That is not a negation if you make that happen. So let me give you an example. If you said the negation of my car is gray um, is my car is not gray, that would be right. Because if your car is gray, that's true. And then if you said my car is not gray, um, <clears throat> then and in your car was gray, then saying my car is not gray is false, okay? You would be telling a lie in that case. You cannot negate my car is gray with the statement my car is blue because those could both be false, okay? What if, for example, my car is red for real, okay? And I say my car is gray, that's false. If I say my car is blue, that's also false. That goes against what it means to be a negation. One would have to be true and the other would have to be false, okay? So easiest and best way to form a negation is to use the word not, okay? So the team finished in first place, all right? The negation of this would be the team did not finish in first place. Right? And again, I just want to point out, you can't say the negation of the team finished in first place is the team finished in third place. Those could both be false. Maybe the team finished in second place. Maybe the team got disqualified. Okay, There's a whole bunch of things that could have happened. So if the team finished in first place is true, then the team did not finish in first place is false and vice versa. All right? I ate a sandwich for lunch. So the negation is... I didn't eat a sandwich for lunch. Okay, I didn't eat a sandwich for lunch. Again, you can't say I ate spaghetti for lunch is the negation because those could both be false, all right? What if you had a salad for lunch? So again, use the word not, it's the easiest thing to do. Um, the price of the car is $20,000. The negation would be the price of the car is not $20,000, okay? And again, you can't even use like more or less because if you say the price of the car is $20,000 and that's not true, and you said the price of the car was more than $20,000, that could also not be true. The price of the car might be $17,000, okay? So use the word not to represent a negation.